Rail Baltica aims to be powered by 100% renewable energy. The entire 870 km line in Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania sounds incredible, right? But to be honest, the renewable part isn't even the greatest challenge. Creating an electrification system for a brand new railway that is safe, technically interoperable, robust and efficient is a tough task even for the sharpest engineering minds. Rail Baltica will be an entirely new, significant and highly variable electricity consumer. That is quite a task for the electricity producers and transmission grids. The whole operation is expected to use 900 gigawatt hours of electricity a year, an estimated 3% increase of the national consumption in every Baltic state. Speaking of which, Rail Baltica, being a single system in all three Baltic states, adds an extra level of complexity with three cross-border sections, including the one with Poland. Another layer in this intricate story is that right now, the Baltic states are engaged in an ambitious project to synchronize with continent Europe energy grids. Rail Baltica will connect to the European Standard Gauge 1435mm network and will close the gap on the North Sea Baltic Tent T corridor to connect the Baltic states with Europe. So this is the scope of the challenge that our engineers have been tackling since 2018. They carefully compiled plenty of studies, best practices and requirements to determine the optimum solution for the configuration of Rail Baltica energy subsystem. We are happy to report that with the help of a fantastic team bringing together experts from the Baltics and beyond, as well as a sophisticated software simulation model, which was quite a feat to develop, this challenge has been solved and we are ready to start the detailed design phase. Looking at the big picture, all of this means that Rail Baltica is well on track to deliver a highly efficient infrastructure that's fully fitted with state-of-the-art electric traction technology and contributes to the EU transport and climate goals. That will give you an excellent environmentally friendly alternative to road and air transport. And the Baltic states will finally be put back on the railway map of Europe. We can't wait.